Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this series of videos that we're going to be producing, we're going to be installing a Forge 15K, which the customer had purchased from ShopSolarKits.com. This unit consists of a 8,000 watt inverter, split phase, 15 kilowatt hour of lithium iron phosphate battery, and 2400 watt of solar power input. So without further delay, let's get into it. <music> All right, uh, now the video back here with Slim Solar. We're actually setting up a EG4 bright mount solar rack for a job here that we're doing. And I have two of my guys out there figuring it out. Uh, they don't send the manual with this kind of setup, so you have to go online. And we're kind of in a remote spot where we have spotty coverage, so we have to walk to the top of the road to get the manual downloaded. So now they have it on the phone and they're kind of going over it making sure they have the information as they try to assemble it so yeah this is day one it's going to be a small system i think six panels and we have two of these racking systems so we're going to probably stagger the install of two of these where one is in front of the other making sure there's no shade on the back ones once we put them up so uh, that's what we're doing right now as you can see middle of nowhere again we're just trees and bushes so All right, here we have a close-up of how we're doing one of the, the bolts and through the telescopic uh, leg piece here. Screw down. There we go. I don't know. I think it needs to be screwed. To get screwed so you got to put it through the. It doesn't make it through. Oh, oh, no, oh that's exactly what's stopping it. You got to open it back it up. Yeah, it needs to be rethreaded. Where's my app? Here, 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 here. Um, I just need to push it back through. That's why I wasn't fitting it, because it was... Um... Yeah, just kind of loosen it to where you can move it with your hand. Won't that mean that... I just realized, yeah, that means that you won't be able to move your piece. If this is what keeps it locked in. Once you get it to the right angle, then you lock it. You're going to... Is there holes through that? No, it's locked. That's locked now. I just did it tight enough to where it's snug. It's not like all the way. Okay, Christian, try well, so, so when you do this right here, pull this out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see the holes? Yeah. You put the bolts through it, and that's what does it eventually. Try and open your... Try and pull the inner piece out, Christian. He's tightening it right now. He's yeah, loosening try, it. This one came out, so I got to make sure okay. it's not out too far. Try and move the inner piece. It's locked, right? It ain't coming out. Yeah, because the inner piece is, is also screwed into the slot. That's why... Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah you got We gotta oh, undo yeah. that. <laughs> so I'm so trying to see yeah. if, if we can figure out where first. it needs to go first. So, so just we... take this out. Okay. Just take out the piece and then hold out. Put it down. Out. So yeah, put it down. 
and then just bolt in the bottom piece there. Okay. Yeah, just put it down. Now it's working. Yep. Yep. Just take it out, put it down like he did. The telescopic piece in your left hand, you can put it down on the box while you bolt that leg down. You got to pull out the telescopic piece. Do you pull this out and put it down? Mine's out. Yeah, I know. There you go. I'm trying to get this to make sure it's not lost. Alright, now you can put your telescopic piece back in. And then you can take your bolt and we can decide which angle we need it at. So now it stays like this. Alright, you can get the other ones done. All right, so now we have this bolted together. Now we're gonna take it over where we need to put it, mark the ground, and then start digging our holes to mount this one. So now that we have one up, we know what we need to do to get it to be done right. So on to marking the spot. All right, now, so we're trying to dig out the last of the first array holes that the first solar array panel system is going to be mounted on. So we have three holes we're going to put it in, put on three. Um, there's a big six by six post that we're going to put in the ground. So right now he's digging out that third hole. So we have... One hole right there already dug. And the second one right there. And he's working on that third one. So hitting some rocks here. It's kind of tough to do it. So we're just going to kind of persevere and hopefully we can get some posts in the ground today. So. Okay, back here with Slim Solar. So we have three posts in the ground.
And I tell you, this one was kind of rough. So first we started out here, but that's a rock, so we couldn't go there. So we basically had to go back that direction. So we have three of them in the ground. As you can see, they're all in line. And I got my plum stick, as I call it. So over here, we have the railing system put up. So we have one done. We have to get the other one done. So once we're done, we're going to cut that, cut those off. And then we're going to take that two by six. I think we have two of them. We'll measure and put it across here. We'll bolt it down. And then we'll take that guy over there and get it mounted on top. So day one coming to a close. We still have three more posts to put in the ground. Here's one here. And I guess when we make our cuts off these two, we'll take the rest of those and put them in the ground. So we have to have two arrays. That's the front back one. And we have to make another one right here somewhere. So we don't cast a shade on that, but day one coming to an end, that's where we're at. And hopefully we can at least get the EG4 bright house solar array up there and get that done today and at least get that done get the other post in the ground with concrete and we will take a another day we'll probably give it about a day to dry and then come back the following day and start putting up the rest of the solar rack system here from signature solar I want to give a special shout out to them this is a good racking system, very simple to put together and it works. So we will get that up and running and try and get this job completed. And hopefully, uh, hopefully I think it calls for no rain for this week uh, until Thursday. So hopefully we can get this part of it done. As you can see, the trench is already here going all the way down to that house. We can probably get that squared away here for the next couple of days. So sunny skies, we can keep working. We can get that done, so we're going to sign off for today and pick this up once we've completed this part of the task. Again, please like, subscribe, and share this videos with others. Others. Until next time, take care. Before I end the video, I wanted to update it to show that we did get the first rack, solar rack, mounted and balanced and we had the posts put in for the second one so as you can see we got it in before day one was completed and i just wanted to put that out there again please like share and subscribe and until next time take care